Mastering Investment Types – Your Path to Financial Vocabulary Proficiency Hello and welcome, finance enthusiasts and English learners alike. Today, we're delving into an intriguing and crucial aspect of the business world, namely the fascinating sector of investments and securities. We will specifically focus on different types of investments. By the end of this video, you'll not only have expanded your professional vocabulary but also have gained insight into the nuances of various investment types. So, what is an investment? Simply put, it's an asset or item purchased with the hope that it will generate income or appreciate in the future. Investments are crucial for businesses and individuals alike as they provide potential financial gains over time. Let's explore some key investment types. When you buy stocks, you're buying a piece of ownership in a company. As a stockholder or shareholder, you could profit from the company's success through dividends or by selling the stock at a higher price than what you paid. But remember, with potential reward comes risk. The company's performance could also decline. Bonds are essentially loans you give to organizations, typically government or corporations. When you purchase a bond, you're lending your money to the issuer for a certain period of time. In return, they promise to pay you regular interest and return the principal amount at the end of the term. It's safer than stocks but usually with lower potential returns. A mutual fund pools money from multiple investors to invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, and other securities. It's managed by professional fund managers. This is a good way for individual investors to access diversified portfolios without needing large amounts of capital. Real estate investments involve purchasing physical property, such as houses, apartments, or commercial buildings. The returns can come in the form of rental income or price appreciation when the property is sold. It's a tangible investment that can provide stable income, but it requires significant capital and maintenance effort. These are types of derivatives, financial instruments whose value is based on an underlying asset. Options give you the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell an asset at a predetermined price. Futures, on the other hand, are contractual obligations to buy or sell an asset at a predetermined price in the future. These are advanced investment instruments often used for hedging or speculating. And there we have it, a deep dive into the different types of investments that form an essential part of business and finance vocabulary. Whether you're studying business English, preparing for a finance job interview, or just trying to broaden your understanding, we hope this guide helps you on your journey. Stay tuned for more finance vocabulary sessions, and until then, keep investing in your language learning.